How's it going, fellows and ladies, everybody out there uh, in the garage gang? Uh, today, for my 200th video, uh, I'm going to make a little uh, video, whatever you want to call it, uh, called uh, My Chevelle History and uh, Recap on my current project. Uh, I thought you guys might want to know a little bit of history or whatever uh, about uh, my past with Chevelles or whatever. I dug up some uh, old photos actually of my uh, Chevelle from high school and uh, there's actually a fella who uh, is doing a frame up on a uh, an Oldsmobile and he had bought a frame and uh, I told him that's how I started and I found this picture and I just wanted to show him uh, that's uh, Pearson uh, BA350 his uh, channel name is <coughs> so anyway my first Chevelle I bought in when I was in high school uh, I don't know exactly what year it was it might have been 79 or uh, well anyway I uh, I bought this car and uh, I had it for a while, changed motors, and then I decided to do a complete restoration on it. And then a lot of things happened, and uh, I wound up having to part it out. And uh, ever since then, it just kind of haunted me that I uh, had to do that. And uh, that had to be like 1980. I'm not exactly sure the year, but it's always like haunted me that car that I had to get rid of because of circumstances out of my control. Uh, the garage that I rented at the time, my buddy uh, who was 50 50 in the garage with me, he uh, he had to uh, bail out, and I couldn't, you know, swing the whole rent on it myself, and I had nowhere to go with the car and. Uh, I was just about done with the second restoration on it, so I wound up porting it out and I sold it uh, in pieces down at the swap meet in Englishtown and uh, I did recoup a lot of money from it, but it just uh, hurt the heart So anyway, I got you a few pictures. I can't find the you know many of them because uh they just got lost through the years and different people have them and well you know how that goes but uh, hopefully I get a little light here maybe you can see some of these pictures this here picture is me sitting on the Chevelle uh, after I got done sandblasting it and uh, priming it and painting it and that was in my uh, small garage the first garage I had uh, over here you got a picture of the rear the 12 bolt rear going in with the ladder bars uh, over here you got the body back on there uh, you know as you can see there wasn't a whole lot on the car at that point over here is another picture of the car when it was done here you got a motor shot over here there's a decent side view of the car over here you got the back of the car uh, and over here in this particular picture you can see I had the whole front end uh, you know the upper lower control arms uh, all chromed out and Every piece painted, you know, it was red and black kind of theme I was shooting for. And uh, that's about all the pictures I can find. <sighs> to the left of it is my old red truck I used to have. And there's another shot of it. That was a good truck. Got me uh, through a lot of lugging motors around and stuff like that. Uh, over here... I just got this one picture of when I like first bought the car before I had done anything to it you know so uh, 
Yeah, I just wanted to show you guys my first uh, Chevelle. I was a 71. And uh, let me tell you, I had a blast in that car. So anyway, oh, don't mind me. I got a cold here. I keep sniffing my nose. It's just running with the allergies and all. But uh, anyway, so as I said, years and years, this darn car haunted me. So I uh, bought the 69 out there that I've been working on. And uh, the original plan, of course, was to buy a car, uh, a four-speed car with a 12-volt rear. I didn't care if there was a motor and trans in it. I actually preferred if there wasn't because, as you all know, I have a motor, a trans, and a rear here all ready to go. So, uh, when I bought it, the fellow was supposed to have all of that taken out, and he didn't. So I was already up there and I had the trailer and I drove three hours and I wasn't going to wait any longer so I took the car as is with the motor trans in it and everything so that's the reason why uh, I haven't got the motor and a trans in because what's in there right now it seems to be a pretty strong motor trans and rear and we're going to leave that in there until it needs to be replaced or whatever happens I gotta see how it runs and drives I don't know because I haven't driven it <laughs> so <coughs> uh, that's the situation with that uh, now if you've all been following my videos you've seen how the car is progressing and right now I'm at the point where it needs to get painted so I can get the windows put in and start putting in the rubber, you know, the weather stripping and stuff like that. And uh, last but not least, after paint is the interior. And then I'm just going to use the car. I'm going to drive that car. I'm going to use it every day. And I'm going to have a blast with it. That's the plan. And then uh, when the motor needs to be changed or the trans or the rear, bang, I got one. So right now guys I am trying to get up some money for to get the paint job done and uh, I'm selling a lot of stuff I have lots of parts lots of engine parts truck parts blazer parts Chevelle parts Camaro Nova parts and uh, that's the plan I'm trying to get some uh, money together for the paint because uh, right now uh, money's real tight and I really at a standstill with the car so uh, a while back I did a video uh, selling crankshafts there's still plenty of those if anybody's interested in the garage give me a holler I got tons of forged steel crankshafts uh, and on eBay if you look my uh, regular channel name up Big Paw 64 you can see I got maybe 10 listings up there right now of some parts I'm trying to sell. So uh, if anybody can help me out and buy some parts, either you know PM me or look on eBay, see what I'm selling, I'd appreciate it. Uh, I want to keep the project going and I just got to get some money together to do it. So that's where I'm at. and. Uh, my 200th video and I uh, want to say thanks to all my subscribers new and old and uh, it's been a fun time on YouTube with everybody uh, I really appreciate everybody that I've met and uh, talked with and it's been a good time and uh, the next party I gotta get there and meet you guys so that's the plan I want to come to the next party with my Chevelle. <laughs> so hopefully it all works out. For now, I'm out of here. Take care. Have a good day. And we'll see you soon. Later.